Hey, what's up everybody? Rich Gaming Guy here. Today in this video, we're gonna dive into this Hyperbase LaunchBox setup. This is a two terabyte setup on an external hard drive that simply plugs into your PC and is loaded with a thousand retro video games. So the emphasis is on the more advanced collections here. So we've got GameCube, we've got Wii, Wii U, we've got PS1, 2, 3, and 4, and a bunch of other collections here. So we're going to unbox this. We're gonna plug it into my PC, take a tour of everything that this has to offer, and then dive into some demos to see exactly how well it performs. Then we'll jump back out here and we'll talk about the experience a little bit. So let's jump right into it. All right, so here we have our 2.5 inch SATA external hard drive enclosure. This is our two terabyte launch box setup in here. So we're gonna take that out, take this out. This right here is going to be our connection. You can see this is a USB 3 connection. The other end obviously connects right into the drive itself. So go ahead and open this all up. Very simple setup here. Love the design on the top of this. Take a look at how unique this looks. Really cool sort of pixelation. Has this holographic sort of look to it. See as I rock it back and forth. Very cool, I haven't seen that so far. So this just simply plugs into the back, just like so, of the enclosure, clicks into place, and then this end, again, USB 3 connection right into our PC, and we should be able to access this, so I'm gonna go ahead and connect this and boot up my PC. All right, so I just connected my drive to my PC and just simply opened up LaunchBox, which you can see right here, and inside here we have a 1,000 titles in total, and this is aimed more towards the more advanced collections. So you can see right here we're in the all games list. Down here at the bottom, 1,000 total games, and it starts off in alphabetical order. So if we scroll down, we start up with 007s, Obviously, zero would be the first in the alphabet. Uh, and then we go into 1080, and here's where you know all of our other titles start. So this, again, is the all games list. But if we go in, we can actually select different categories over here, and each category is going to be a different collection. So you can see all of these are on here. So we have a lot of advanced collections. We have GameCube, we have Switch, we have Wii, Wii U, Dreamcast, Saturn, um, obviously N64, DS, PlayStation 1, 2, and 3. Um, we even have some PS4 on here, which I'm really actually quite excited about checking out. Uh, PSP, Windows. So we're going to jump into some titles, but I want to take a look at what each collection has to offer. So we'll kick it off right here. Old school collection, 44 titles in here. And right down here, you're going to see this little... Um, sizer i guess you'd call this um and we can adjust you know obviously the size of everything here so we have dragon's lair awesome title here um if we go into n64 same deal we can make these larger or smaller if you make them smaller then you can see more in each uh shot i actually like them you know a little bit bigger like this uh, i don't mind scrolling down but 97 titles for N64, definitely wanna check that out. And of course, whatever PC you're using for all of your emulation is going to be what really affects the performance here. So if you're running into issues with games, there's a good chance that your PC is the issue. Um, but I have a gaming PC, I'm using an HP Pavilion gaming PC today. So we're going to test everything out with this, which has pretty good specs in terms of gaming, certainly not top of the line for a gaming PC, but still quite good. So you can see as we scroll down all the different titles in here. I'll kind of speed it up. So we have all the um, you know Mario stuff for N64. From what I'm seeing, all of the really, really, really popular stuff. So looks like a great selection of titles. All right, so we will jump into some N64. Let's check out DS now. So Nintendo DS, we have 71 titles in here. And I've never been big on Nintendo DS with emulation. Just personal preference there, but I know a lot of people are. So looks like some really great titles though. Again, seems like we have all of the Mario stuff, all the you know, main um, Nintendo titles here. So Pokemon looks absolutely stacked for Pokemon. All the classic Nintendo stuff is definitely included on here. Sonic Adventure, Speed Racer, Super Mario, uh, 64DS, lots of great stuff. So 
uh, NES, we have 109 titles. So they've definitely uh, been selective with NES because you can get you know hundreds and hundreds of titles here for NES. But uh, how many of them are you actually going to play? I do like the uh, streamlined sort of approach to what you have to offer here. So got some really great titles though. And I'm sure we have, you know, all those classics. We have Contra right here. Dr. Mario, DuckTales, Excite Bike. Yeah, all your all your mainstream classics. So, let's take a look at GameCube. 92 titles for GameCube. That is pretty impressive. And let's see what we have. It's so a crazy taxi, jungle beat. Let's uh, make this smaller so we can see some more of them. And actually, if we do that, there we go. Speed this up a little bit. Yeah, so Wario World. Nice. Good selections. Let's see, do we have Mario Kart? 60, uh, not 64, excuse me. Metroid Primes are in here, awesome. Uh, Mario Kart Double Dash, yeah, we have to have, to have that. So yeah, again, Luigi's Mansion, all of the mainstream classics for uh, GameCube do seem to be in here. So we're going to move on to Switch now. Definitely interested to see how this is. And we're going to double back here when we get to the gameplay portion of this. So how many Switch titles? 17, not bad. Uh, Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, awesome. Nitro Fueled, Crash Team Racing. Uh, what else do we have? Hello Neighbor, Hollow Knight, nice. Zelda Link's Awakening, Breath of the Wild. Okay. This is pretty impressive, actually. Now, um, Super Mario Odyssey. Now, most of these I'm familiar with uh, just from having set up this collection within Botticera before. Not all of these, but um, Crash ones and Zelda. Um, let's go over here to Nintendo Wii now. So we have 20 titles for Nintendo Wii, which, you know, is, is pretty, pretty good. I mean... It's not a massive number by any means, but with this, they're likely selecting games that you could play with a um, gamepad controller easily too, as opposed to going with, you know, original Wii controllers and all of that. So, um, good selection though. This is a great title here: Super Smash Brothers, Brothers Brawl, uh, Mario Galaxy 2, Mario Galaxy, Sonic Colors. Excellent selection. Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition is good. Uh, Metroid Prime 3 Corruption, Mario Party 9, Mario Kart, awesome. Yeah, I mean, these are great titles. Um, this one, awesome title here. Donkey Kong Country Returns, and then The Godfather, one of my favorite games. Never actually played uh, Black Hand Edition, though, for Wii. Uh, actually, I've, I've tested it out briefly on Botticera, uh, but never dove into it in depth. So we'll circle back here, test out some of these. Nintendo Wii U, we've got 10 titles here. Um, looks very much in line with what we had with Switch. Mario Party 10 is good. Um, this is a good title. And I believe actually all of these I've used on Botticera. And they all work pretty well over there, so I wouldn't anticipate any issues here. Um, do we have tennis on here? We do not have tennis. That's my game uh, for Wii U. But um, we'll jump into probably Mario Kart 8, I would imagine. Um, maybe some Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. But just test it out, see what it does over here. Let's take a look at Dreamcast. So Dreamcast, we have 40 games here. Um, let's see, Crazy Taxi 1 and 2. Good, good, good. Dead or, Dead or Alive 2. House of the Dead 2. Let's see what else. Jet Grind Radio is a good one. King of Fighters. Legacy of Kain, Soul Reaver's good. Got to have Marvel vs. Capcom. Do they only have... Oh, I was gonna, didn't even see it over here. I was going to say, you got to have the second one, too. And there it is. Um, what else? Power Stone 1 and 2 is good. Awesome selection. I mean, I'd love to see more titles here, but this is good. San Francisco Rush uh, 2049 is great. Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, Soul Calibur. That's my game right there. Love that. Street Fighters, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2, another one of my probably top 10 favorite games ever. Virtual Tennis, awesome. So really happy with the selection here. Obviously, you know, I'd want more than 40 in a perfect world, but I get the fact that two terabytes with collections that are stacked like this, uh, you have to, you know, obviously have some um, 
limitations. So let's take a look at Saturn now. 30 Saturn games. Daytona, USA. House of the Dead. Awesome. Mega Man, Mortal, Co Mortal Kombat Trilogy, Quake. Resident Evil. Sonic Jam. Street Fighter. Virtua Fighter. Good, good selection. Awesome. Um, I like weird titles for Sega Saturn, so I'm not so much into like all of the mainstream stuff. I, I do like the selection here, um, but you know I like some of the weirder stuff too. So the stuff that isn't necessarily a um, you know cult classic for Sega Saturn, but awesome selection nonetheless. Let's go on to PS1. So we have 117 games here for PS1. That's awesome because they don't take up much space per game, so you can get a lot more of them on here, which is great to see. Um, so what do we have? Crash. We got the early Crash stuff, which is great. Crash Team Racing, the original, love that. Uh, Diablo. And some Digimon games here that takes me back. Driver One and Two. A lot of Final Fantasy, which is great. Gran Turismo, the original two. Um, what else do we have? All right, so we've got Legacy of Kane, Soul Reaver here as well. Legend of Dragoon. Medal of Honor, just the first one it looks like. Alright. If I'm being picky, I'd like to see the first and second, but hey, just because it's one of my favorite um, two titles for PS1, but awesome stuff here. Really liking this. Got the Resident Evils, awesome. Gotta have Spyro, good choice there. Tekken 3, awesome. Tomb Raider games, got all of those. Tony Hawk Pro Skater, good stuff. And I was going to say, this is the ultimate test here. No WCW games, but wasn't a big fan of WCW for PlayStation. Mayhem wasn't bad. Um, but these two, especially this one, awesome games. Love WWF SmackDown 2, know your role though. Great to see that they're in here. Um, so let's go over to PS2 now. How many PS2 games? Wow. I was expecting this to be a much smaller number, 122 PS2 games. These take up a decent amount of space, so I'm really impressed by that, actually. I was expecting this to be like 30, 40 games. Um, so we got the Burnouts on here. Awesome. Dead to Rights. One and two. Awesome. Let's see what else. Some ESPN, Fight Night, 2004 is good. Final Fantasy titles. Grand Theft Auto. We've got them all, right? Awesome. All, of, all the good ones there, yep. Guitar Hero. Rock the 80s. I don't even remember this game. I remember all of these. I don't remember that one. I'll have to check that out. And I think Guitar Hero 2. Yeah, I'm not... I remember it, but I was always into 3 and then... Um, what was the other one? I'm blanking on the one. Yeah. not the, Not that one, though. All right, so we got Jack 3, um, Jack and Daxter, good. Kingdom Hearts, awesome. Got a bunch of the Kingdom Hearts, which is great. Tomb Raider, Anniversary, Legacy, is that Legacy? Yeah, oh, Legend. So Tomb Raider, we've got Anniversary, um, we've got Legend, and then we've got the Angel of Darkness, Manhunt here, Manhunt 2. Max Payne 2, Mercenaries 2, Metal Gear Solid 2, uh, Sons of Liberty and Substance. What do we have down here? Three, both of those. Metal Slugs, awesome. Street Volume 2, Need for Speed Most Wanted, awesome title there. Oh, they got the Black Edition too. Very nice. All right, so attention to detail went into this. I'm liking that. These are great games too. Let's see. Prince of Persia, Sands of Time. Ratchet and Clank, gotta have that in there for PS2. All right, Sly Cooper, Sly Three, gotta have Soul Calibur One and Two, SSX Three, SS, SSX Tricky, On Tour. Wasn't a fan of that one, but these two I liked. Um, Battlefront, Battlefront Two, Time Splitters. All right, Tomb Raider, again. This is awesome. Really a great selection. Here comes the pain. Probably my favorite SmackDown game ever. All right, 
stacked collection for PS2. Very impressive. Now, PS3. 21 titles here. Okay, so that's pretty good. Afro Samurai is awesome. Definitely recommend that game if you haven't checked it out. God of War Collection. So we get one and two bundled together there. We also have three over here. Very cool. What else do we have? Ratchet and Clank Trilogy. Ridge Racer 7. Baja 1000. That looks like a cool one. I'm not familiar with that. Wolf Among Us and Soul Calibur. Awesome. All right, so we got some good titles here for PS3. So we'll be back here to test this out. Now, this is what I'm most excited about because I'm not familiar with PS4 emulation. I don't think I've ever been in it until very recently. Um, so we have 10 titles in here. That's pretty impressive. We have Grand Theft Auto 5, Prototype 2, Red Dem Redemption 2, Spider-Man, let's see, The Witcher, Wild Hunt, WRC 8, very good titles. So, we'll be diving in here as well. Now, PSP, we have 94 games. Good selection on that because they don't take up a huge amount of space. So, let's see what we have here, though. Oh, I wasn't a big PSP gamer. The, the titles I'm familiar with were typically titles that were released on other uh, systems as well. I know they had more for Grand Theft Auto on here. So, it looks like a good selection. Again, not super familiar with this. Lemmings, a Metal Gear Solid, Monster Jam Path of Destruction. This is a good one right here. Sega Rally I'm familiar with. Sonic Rivals is good. Battlefront 2. We had that on... Um, the other there, okay, Tekken 6, awesome game. We have Virtua Tennis World Tour, familiar with that as well. So, good selection here. Let's go down to, now we have um, Super Nintendo with 70 titles. And again, just, you know, obviously it's been limited just because you could have literally hundreds and hundreds of these, but... I do like the fact that they limit these, like I said, with NES. So good selection of titles. Got the Mortal Kombat, Star Fox, Mario titles are all in here. All the stuff that anybody would really want to dive into. Turtles in Time, Star Wars, um, WWF Royal Rumble for the wrestling fans like myself. So good stuff here. Again, 70 titles for Super Nintendo. Now let's dive into Windows. And this is stuff that I'm not as familiar with with emulation, but we have 36 Windows titles in here. Let's see if I recognize any of these. Double Dragon Trilogy, obviously. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 3. Now we've seen these in multiple collections here, so that doesn't get me too, too excited, but still good selection of titles here. And these are not like, you know, when I saw Windows, I was thinking like old school stuff. This is relatively newer titles, um, but good stuff here. Titan, Titanfall 2, Battlegrounds for um, WWE, which is very popular title. So yeah, great selection here as well. 36, it was just surprising. I was expecting older Windows um, titles, but this is great. All right, so we're gonna start jumping into some gameplay demos and let's test out the performance and make sure that everything actually functions in here.
Alright guys, I had a great experience here diving into this LaunchBox setup. Really a big fan of LaunchBox and it's not something that I've been into for a long period of time. I only got into LaunchBox fairly recently, uh, the last few months or so. It's very user friendly. If you're new to PC emulation gaming, this is a great place to start out. And even if you're more advanced into it and you've been doing it for a while, you're going to find how easy and user friendly this is um, to be a major positive and a major advantage to LaunchBox. So I'm used to Botticera and some of the stuff that can be very complex. LaunchBox just simplifies everything. It's easy to make settings adjustments, easy to add and remove games. And with something like this that is pre-configured and plug and play, you may find that it has a great offering, but you may want to tweak things. You may want to remove certain games that you know you're never going to enjoy and add some more of the stuff that you know you will enjoy. So feel free to make adjustments here, swap out games, do whatever you need to do to tailor this to your individual needs. But great starting point here in terms of the games and the game selection. I think that it's really awesome. Um, I'm not you know, knocking it for what most would consider to be a low game number. A thousand games isn't super flashy. We're used to seeing, you know, plug and play builds with, you know, advertisements for 30,000 games or all this stuff. But this has a lot more advanced games, which take up a lot more space. So Nintendo Switch, uh, Wii, Wii U, GameCube, PS2, 3, 4, certainly. All of these collections and games take up a lot more space. So in the end, we get less games, but again, they're taking up a lot more space. So you're filling up a two terabyte drive in this case very easily with less games, but they're more desirable games in most cases. If you're not into those more advanced games, um, then this probably wouldn't be the drive for you because the main focus here, again, is Wii, Wii U, Nintendo Switch, PS1, 2, 3, 4, etc. So there's less NES, less Super Nintendo, but you still have all of your mainstream, you know, super popular titles in there as well. So I don't think that there's anything lacking just because there's a smaller number on here. There's still a really great selection of games across the board on here. Performance, everything performs extremely well, at least in my experience. Remember though, not everybody's gonna have the same experience because what you use for a PC is going to make or break your experience. If you are using a really low end PC with limited specs, then you're not gonna have that seamless experience here. You're going to have some setbacks, especially with the more advanced stuff, which again is what this build focuses on. So I'm using an HP Pavilion gaming PC today, not the highest you know, end gaming PC by any means, but still pretty powerful. I get through everything on here with ease, no real setbacks or anything. Yes, there's a little hiccup in gameplay here and there, but still a great experience, nothing that is cringy or unplayable by any means. I think you could tell that from the gameplay demos here. One thing that I would say I'm not super big on 
is the fact that PS4 is not truly PS4 games. Yes, the titles were released on PS4, but they're actually using PC versions of those titles here. So if you jump into them, and you probably can't tell from the gameplay demos that I put in this video, but if you jump into them, you can move your mouse on screen, you can use your keyboard, you can actually see on screen like um, button prompts where it'll tell you what button to hit and they don't line up with a PS4 controller. PS4 or PS anything has the shapes. In this case, because it's a PC version, it'll say A, B, X, or Y. So it can get a little confusing there. Um, the first time I dove into it, I was like, wait, why is it not showing me the shapes? And then realized it's the PC versions of PS4 titles. So yes, it's a little deceiving there, but in the end, you know what? I can't knock it because the games run extremely well and you know it's still a good experience so you know i'm not going to get hung up on what is really a technicality here but yeah they should probably just say these are pc versions of ps4 games rather than advertising it as true ps4 um, versions so is what it is there though but again good experience and that's all that really matters in the end if you're able to get into games and the performance is good then you know i'm all for it so really a good selection here just weigh out the pros and cons. And you know, the, the only cons here are really if you're not looking for the selections that are available on here. Other than that, really a great setup here. I love the actual drive. I think it's a really unique design and I'll show you guys right here. Really cool, it actually lights up and I'll show you guys exactly how it lights up right here so you can see you know, exactly what it looks like when it's powered on. It's got some cool lights to it. Really cool uh, surface to this too with that. I don't know what you'd really call that. What would you call that? sort of a glossy uh, holographic sort of pixelation finish on there. I think it looks really cool. The LED lights and everything just creates a really cool experience, especially if you're somebody that likes to game with uh, different lights and stuff like that. I know a lot of different gaming PCs have different lights. It's just a cool little additive there that um, you know creates a better experience for some. So definitely um, high quality here, reliable, excellent performance just use it with obviously a pc that can handle the games and emulators that you're going to be using but i think it's a home run great starting point for people that are looking to get into pc emulation and want to focus more on those more advanced collections so if you want some more information i'll put a link in the description of this video right here and also a link up here at the top of your screen click the link get some more information at the very least but that's going to do it for today if you enjoyed the content in this video please give me a thumbs up here on this YouTube video. It's a huge help to me as I try to grow this channel. And of course, hit the subscribe button to stay in the loop for all future videos right here on the Retro Gaming Guy YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.